Yeah, I got an A rank. Yay! Obtained lighter lockpick. Yay! Obtained Jill Valentine's profile. Yay! Chris Redfield profile. Yay! Kenneth J. Sullivan. Who the heck is that? Forest Spayer. Aw, poor Forest. Obtained Arclay Research Facility Mansion Notes. Ah. Cerberus Notes. Doggy! Mansion Incident 2 is now available. Rebecca's Scenario Nightmare Chapter 1 is now available. So we already opened up the side mission. Let's go to the archives! Lighter and lockpick. Chris and Jill's standard equipment. Other characters had similar items. Jill Valentine profile. <clears throat> A member of Star's Alpha Team, she is very dexterous and an expert at picking locks, earning her the somewhat awkward title of Master of Unlocking. She's not only highly uns or highly skilled, not unskilled, in bomb disposal, but is excellent at breaking down any situation and determining the best course of action. Her years of U.S. Army Delta Force training have helped her make a crack shot. Helped make her a crack shot. What the crap. After the destruction of Raccoon City, both her and Chris have joined a private biohazard containment unit with the goal of taking Umbrella down once and for all. Serious? With a strong sense of justice, she's very direct in her actions. She typically only shows her tough side to others, but there are times when she lets her guard down and shows the softer side. Like the end of Resident Evil, maybe? <laughs> Chris Redfield, the one I really want to know about. A member of Star's Alpha Team. His marksmanship is number one amongst the sharpshooters assembled in Alpha. Awesome. He was once a pilot in the USAF. US, United States Air Force. Okay. And has been rigorously trained in hand-to-hand -hand as well as knife combat. He has pursued Umbrella and the people behind it even after the fall of Raccoon City by helping to... Wait. Even after the fall of Raccoon City by helping to organize a private biohazard containment unit. An excellent observer with keen insight. His sense of right and wrong is unwavering. This is often a source of conflict between Chris and his superiors. He has a younger sister, Claire, who he is very protective of. And that is who I'm going to play as in... I'm my first run through in Resident Evil 2. Ha ha. Kenneth J. Sullivan. A member of Star's Bravo team, he is a veteran who can be trusted to bring his vast experience and wisdom to his investigations. He is charged with recon and position security. He made it to the mansion, but was soon overtaken and became a meal for a zombie. Ah, wait. Kenneth. Oh, yeah, the tape. And, okay, yeah, I see. Forrest Speyer profile. A member of Star's Bravo team, his sharpening skills almost rival Chris's. He escaped to the mansion, but was attacked by a monster and left for dead on the balcony, where his body was later discovered. He wasn't dead. Mansion Notes Umbrella's research facility be built deep within Raccoon Forest. Their primary... Primary... What am I saying? The primary facilities are buried deep underground, while the two-story mansion that rests above ground serves as a facade. The mansion's, or fa facade, facade, whatever. The mansion's construction includes a wide range of insidious traps and devices created by the architect George Trevor. Ah, the Trevor family! What a disgrace they ended up being. Cerberus notes. The Cerberus is a biological weapon or whatever created by administering the T-virus to large Dobermans used in the military. Its skin is severely decayed, although its speed and endurance are considerably heightened. When it finds its prey, it'll coordinate with others in its pack and attack in waves. They are suspected to be the main cause of the numerical mutilated bodies found in Raccoon Forest. Numerical? Numerous. Yeah, yep. Saving in progress. Now let's go to the customized screen. Customization maxed out. Submachine gun, I've actually started using it more. Power increase. Now it's maxed out, and I have four stars left. Grenade launcher, magnum, or rocket launcher? Hmm. Magnum, ammo increase. I think the first one on all of them is ammo increase. Yep. Alright, well, I might need a rocket launcher later on, so let's go ahead and just increase that now. <laughs> Yes, I shall save this data in the name of Morse. Now, should I be 
or do Rebecca or continue? Let's do Rebecca. We get to be little Rebecca. That sounded awkward. High powered? This gun makes up for a drop in ammo capacity with firepower. Weird. I don't remember that. Oh well. Let's start on with the story. Rebecca's side of the mansion incident, I think. July 24th. After splitting up with Billy, I went to the mansion where Bravo team was to rendezvous. When I arrived, I found that none of the others were there, and the mansion was unsettlingly quiet. I was exhausted from the events of the previous day, and before I knew it, I had drifted into a nightmare. Creepy. Snake! Snake? Snake? Snake! Archon! Hi! Nice to meet you! Hello! I am Salazar Slytherin! Who are you? I want to French kiss you! Like my tongue? Richard! You're okay? No. Not really, no. Hey! Don't lie! Lying is for losers. We were this pen is blue, Edward. red, crap. Edward's dead. Yep, that's true. I see. I see. That's a drink. It's not much better on my end either. Yeah, you look weird. By those things. What's with your haircut? Split up. The rest of the team is either in hiding or in my pants. What? We just have to find Enrico. To do. Suicide! What a horrible first assignment, huh? Not really. This is just as much adventure as I was wanting. First, we have to get to someplace safe. This isn't? What you talking about, Willis? It's Enrico. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're dead. Um, uh, it's dark in here. Bees, look out! You know what? I just realized I have not brightened the screen on this one, so it might be even harder for you to see than for me. All right, brightened it up. Come on, Rebecca, do some ninja. Ah, eh, works for me. I ain't scared of you, puppy. I've been in wars, you know. Here, I'll let you in. After I destroy some of this stuff and find files. Wait, you're naked? Ew, put his shirt on. Just because I'm Rebecca Chambers doesn't mean you have to do that. Have some decency, man. Alright. So, what are we going to do? Ah, this is the plant thing. The vine's gonna come out. The vine's gonna come out. I just know it. The vine. But, but where's the vine? Haha! -ha, my rapid fire is too rapid for you. Snap! It's the little munchkins. Why, Munchkins? I do not want to hurt you. You should not want to hurt me. I am friend.
least they're not going to fuse into a weird giant organism like the leeches. What the heck? I just saw Harry Butt. Oh golly, we're being bombarded here. Another nudist! Except he's wearing shorts. I want to see your head pop. Can we watch your head pop? Yay! Pop Ted. <laughs> 